world's largest magic magazine vanish becoming the first south african magician to grace the cover of this magical read now that's a durban based magician mo magic who recently returned home after staging shows in las vegas and hollywood mo magic is back with his brand new theater show titled moments of wonder which takes place at the elizabeth snedden theater on uk zn campus from the 9th to the 12th of march he joins us now from Durban Studios to tell us more about his upcoming show, which also, by the way, heads to the Hexagon Theatre in on the UK ZN campus. That it is is in Peter Maritzburg later this month. All right, Mo Magic. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Hi, Lebo. It's an absolute pleasure to be here with you. Talk to us about uh, your upcoming show, Mo Moments of Wonder, and what is the inspiration behind this upcoming show? Well, the, the, the name with the name like Moments of Wonder, for me, I believe that we each as humans have the opportunity to experience truly magical moments of wonder in our daily lives. Mm. And for me, first and foremost, I'm truly thankful for the gift of life that uh, I've been given. And throughout the day, I look at the different things in my life that brings me joy. And for example, spending time with my nieces, I've got three nieces, and whenever I'm with them, I just feel so much of joy. Um, we saw a few, um, as you introduced me, we saw some... Um, uh, yeah, go on. Uh, as, um, as you introduced me, we saw some footage there uh, from my TV series. And those were different elements and different spaces that we can experience wonder. So for me, the show uh, is about communicating the fact that there's so much to be grateful for, so much of wonder to be experienced on a daily basis. And I take some of these elements and I create magic with them, thereby, thereby uh, with the play on uh, moments of wonder. So I'm telling you about the moments and... Yeah. All right. And then, um, you know, it's a, it's a very interactive show and it's about 90 minutes. Tell us a little bit about that. Paint a picture for us. Yes. Yeah, so um, when I went to Las Vegas and Hollywood, I got to meet some of the top magicians uh, internationally. And one of the highlights for me was meeting David Copperfield. And when I saw their styles of production, uh, they are magicians, they are entertainers, but they also have a support team. So this time... For this show, I've, um, I've created a team. So from the time you walk in, we have an amazing, amazing visual artist who will wow you and create an amazing visual moment of wonder for you. We've got a female singer who's going to perform one of my favorite songs because for me, music is one of those things that give us moments of wonder. So there's a lot of magic. And by magic, I mean sleight of hand magic, but also bigger illusionary type stuff. Um, we have mystifying mentalism, but I've also added a bit of variety with the visual artist as an opening act. And of course, um, with the, the mus musician coming in uh, later in the show. All right. And what were the highlights of the trip? You touched a little bit on it, the Las Vegas and Hollywood trips. Um, apart from meeting um, that magician that you love so much, what were the highlights? Well, um, I had the opportunity to shoot some magic in Las Vegas and Hollywood, and I've been sharing that on my social media. So if you, if you look me up as Mo Magic on the various social media channels, you'll see that. And the one thing I realized there is that no matter who you are, wherever you are in the world, magic has the ability to communicate with you and bring out feelings of excitement, astonishment, and wonder. So that was uh, one of the highlights for me. Another highlight was visiting the world-famous Magic Castle in Hollywood and getting to show some of my international colleagues some of my magic. And I look forward to returning there in 2018 to performing. <laughs> Mo, I have to take you to what we're looking at right now, what we're watching. You've got Kabonina there who's almost about to have a heart attack because you're driving the car. I don't know if you can see it <laughs> um, on your screen there from my Durban Studios. Can you see it? Yes, I can. Tell from us a the, little bit about yeah, that. Yeah, from the corner of my eye. Yeah, from the corner of my eye, I see. Tell us a little bit yeah, about so, that. Uh, as, a, uh, as a magician, yes, as a magician, I love to sh create joy and delight for my audiences. And with magic, there's so many different types of magic. What you saw there was one of the stunts we performed on television. 
and that was called the, uh, the blindfold drive. And the stunt there is that I'm blindfolded and they, um, who I guess in that particular instance it was Carbonina. So she firstly put on the blindfolds, making sure that she couldn't see through. Then she gave them to me and I put them on and I told her that I'd be driving uh, very slowly on the, on the raceway and that she would have to tell me to, whether to turn right or left. Yeah. But what she didn't expect was me flooring the car to about 150 kilometers <laughs> on the raceway. Um, so yeah, that was just... Uh, All right. And I've got, I believe you've got, uh, what is the, the cube that you've got in your hands there? Do you want to show us something? A Rubik's Cube that you want to show us a magic trick? Uh, yes. So, yes. Yeah, yeah, I, I will show you a little quick trick here, but uh, this type of, uh, of magic, where it's a quick piece of magic, is slightly different from my theatre show, because for the theatre show, guests come in, there's lighting, there's music, there's ambiance, um, everything together with the production value, with my opening act, with the, the illusions, with the mentalism, creates a wonderful experience of magic. So here I will show you a quick piece of magic. Trust me, it's one of my favorite pieces of magic. And uh, the, the team in, in the Durban studio, I was just uh, practicing this in front of the camera to make sure it, um, it didn't leave the frame. And they just kept looking at me and, and, and saying, how did you do that? So let me show this to you. I've got here the world's most popular puzzle. This is the Rubik's Cube, mm -hmm. the object of which is to move the pieces so that by the very end, each side has a single yet different color. Now, Lebo, watch very carefully. If I take the cube, I could mix it and try and solve it, but that would take too long. Okay. So let's use some magic. Watch the mixed cube instantaneously. What? Solve itself. <laughs> okay. okay. Can you do that again? Are you able to do it again? Are you able to do that again? Do I look like a PVR? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm so. I and, am and there's a lot of family-friendly humor in the show. There's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of family-friendly. So there's magic, mentalism, a visual artist uh, at the start of the show. Uh, we've got some live music in the show, and of course, family-friendly uh, comedy. The show is open for the entire family, ages six upwards. Bring your friends, bring your family, bring your kids, bring your grandparents. It's going to be fun. And I, I believe there's another trick where you change money from rent to a dollar? Yes, yes, yes. This is something I shot in New York. When I landed in New York, yeah. I, I, I was just telling my social media uh, fans that I was in New York and it's time to grab a, a quick coffee. But I had, a, I had some, um, some rands with me. So I've got a, um, 100 here. And yeah. I said, well, the thing was I needed dollars to buy things at the airport. So watch the 100. If I just fold it, if I just blow on it, and squeeze, you see the 100 rand changes to 100 <laughs> US dollars. Right there. Okay, Mo, you know what, ne? <laughs> okay, Mo. Okay, just give us the dates and please go back I, to... I can't, I can't, <laughs> Lebo, I can't... Yeah. I can't see you, but I can hear you. And I know that look on your face. It's one of joy and delight. And this is what, this is the main reason I do what I do. Spreading joy and delight through the art of magic. All right, Mo, thank you so much. I'm officially convinced. I am convinced that magic does exist. Thank you so much for spending the morning with us. All right, uh, Durban-based so uh, magic uh, magician, magic extraordinaire, Mo Magic, speaking to us about uh, his brand new theater show titled Moments of Wonder, which takes place at the Elizabeth uh, Snedden Theater on UKZN campus. 9 to 12 March, and then it heads to the Hexagon Theatre on UKZN campus, Peter Maritzburg. That's from the 30th of March to the 1st of April.